the information regarding season one of Modern Warfare 3 has just dropped. And real quick, before we get into anything, we're in for a good one. I was just comparing this season one roadmap to last year's Modern Warfare 2 season one roadmap. Night and day difference. This is going to be great. Let's just hop straight into it. So right off the bat, we're meeting four new multiplayer maps at the beginning of the season three of which are going to be 6v6 and then we're going to be getting one 2v2 map which also allows the return of 2v2 gunfight if you scroll down here we get a instant look at one of the new maps called meat and from what i've heard from some creators who got to play this map early actually said it reminds them of shoot house and shipment which is awesome it's really good for camel grinding whether you're leveling up weapons doing challenges whatever it may be it's pretty good for that and you guys can see this little overview of the map right here it looks fairly small like i can see this map being very very good so an original map that is small and very good we haven't seen something like this and in, in so long they always bring back the same old maps whether it's shipment shoot house things like that rust it, it's nice to see something original that's small and very very playable so i can't wait to hop in some of that we have greece which complete opposite of that meat map i mean the overlay it looks massive but then again we do have 10v10 in modern warfare 3 so this could be an excellent map for 10v10 but it just, there's just a lot going on here so i don't know how i feel about that and then the third and final 6v6 map that's being added into mw3 is rio and it looks like a medium-sized map i think this could play very very well once again in 10v10 it gives me like village vibes it looks good i feel like it looks like it's supposed to be part of the warzone map but i again i don't know but it looks very good and then we have the one and only 2v2 gunfight map that's coming out training facility and not much to say it's a, it's a 2v2 map and we're also getting quite a bit of brand new game modes one of which is all or nothing which we've seen i think in modern warfare 2 it was also in the original uh modern warfare 3 you know nothing too crazy it's just a party mode we have a this mode right here is going to be insane it's called vortex it's limited time it's giving me the mid-season update and the thing that's so special about this mode is the zombies ray gun wonder weapon is going to be in it they're bringing the ray gun to multiplayer for this ltm which ne never before seen they've never done this before so that's gonna be very interesting should be a lot of fun i'm honestly really hyped for that we're also getting santa's sleigh ground which is an ltm mid-season uh little mode here and i see krampus right here i'm guessing it's just gonna be krampus is just slaying us and whatever it may be we're also getting infected which we've seen in multiple call of duty games a lot of party modes but thankfully something actually really good not an ltm they're actually gonna be bringing back headquarters i feel like it should just be in the game i mean we had it at the launch of modern warfare 2 but i did enjoy playing this quite a bit at the beginning of modern warfare 2 so i'm glad to see this making its return can't wait to sprinkle that into some of my gameplay and the final mode that is going to be coming to modern warfare 3 was like the sixth mode is team gunfight which is very very odd so essentially it's gunfight on the 6v6 maps in 6v6 so everybody just gets a random loadout you, you go at it which is very interesting and a a pretty nice concept I, I hope they do something with this add rewards and and things like that that'd be a lot of fun moving on we have a brand new vest coming to the game and this is od it's called the assassin vest the stealthy killer so uh kills don't display skulls you're immune to uav and enemy radar effects including while stationary so as of right now ghost is only active when you're moving around with this you could sit still and be off the radar so yeah this is just the ultimate like ghost vest which is unbelievable uh equipment slots you get a tactical lethal but your field upgrade will be removed and then for the gear slot you get gloves boots and gear i ain't gonna lie with something this od is stealthy i think the, you shouldn't get no equipment whatsoever none of that you should only just get these three and maybe even remove some of those two i don't know that's a, that's pretty insane this is what i'm super excited about oh my god we're getting two new kill streaks one of which is the swarm from black ops 2. it's a 15 kill streak which i believe will be the largest kill streak in the entire game or 1875 points if you choose to do score streaks 
And we're getting the EMP, which is a 13 kill streak, or it'll be 1,625 points. We're getting new kill streaks, part of the updates. We didn't get one. We didn't get one single new kill streak all of Modern Warfare 2. This time around, we are getting two, which is already more. And we're getting some pretty beefy game changing kill streaks the EMP and the Swarm. I couldn't be any more excited. Genu I genuinely couldn't be. Uh, next, we're getting ranked play once again. This is going to be dropping in the mid season update, which is surprisingly earlier than last year. Infinity Ward, L, you're trash. We didn't get ranked play in Battle Warfare 2 till the mid season 2 or the beginning of season 2. Took forever for them to do it. So. This time around, we're getting in the mid-season update of one, which is great, and it's presented by Treyarch, which, what could go wrong? Nothing. It's always great. Next, for Modern Warfare Zombies, I don't want to spend too much time on this because I don't upload zombies, but I do play a lot of it, so I'm interested in it. We're getting new story acts, which is great. I can't wait for that. Um, enter the Dark Ether Rift. That should be a lot of fun. In the background of this image, it literally looks like it is Albagra Fortress. It says it right here on the sign, Albagra Fortress. So, zombies on Al on Almazra, is that what we're getting? Looking like it, I'm actually really excited for it. The new Wonder Weapon, Warlord, and more. So, uh, wield the VR-11 Wonder Weapon, discover new schematics, and prepare to infiltrate the fortress of the Warlord. I might even try saying that word. A new story act begins. Uh, here's the worm for Act 3. Enter the Rift. And it's literally a portal that brings you to Almazra, it looks like. This is going to be insane, man. There's a look at the brand new Wonder Weapon. New classified schematics. We got Rift Run. There's the Wonder Weapon. There's Warlord. The schematic Dog Bone. Schematic Gold Armor Plate. And the schematic Aether Blade. So the Dog Bone. Consume the Dog Bone to, to summon the strongest friendly Hellhound companion. The pet, the pet Hellhound will follow you and attack nearby threats until its health runs out. This season one item can help take off the heat when it's really needed. We have the golden armor plate, which I think is going to be awesome. Consuming the new golden armor plate replaces the armor carrier with plates that automatically repair over time. In addition to providing the user additional damage resistance. I need this. This is going to be awesome. And then the ether blade. The ether blade is a special throwing knife with infinite ammo and a boomerang like combat style. After striking an enemy, the ether blade locates the next nearest enemy to hit before returning to its operator. What? Amazing. That is going to be sick. And then we have the warlord, which is going to be part of the mid season as well. And then we have a bunch of war zone. We're getting the brand new map. Here is a little like a roadmap for Uzbekistan specifically. Mid-season, looking forward to the Champions Quest. I'm definitely doing that, showing you what the rewards are. Uh, Covert X fill. We get a weapon case mid-season. Loot rarity is quality life changes. Dedicated ammo slots in your backpack. Tack map icons. You get a backup pistol while you're swimming. A manual gas mask so it doesn't kind of interfere with your gunfights. Contract activation laptop, whatever that means. Uh, new maps, Azurkistan. Uh, we're also going to be getting Vandal and Ashika right away, our first 48 hours at least. And then we have a new mobile POI drivable train. At launch, we're going to be getting Resurgence, Rotation Resurgence, Battle Royale, Plunder. In seas, we're getting Lockdown, the Slay Ride Resurgence. I guess one or maybe even both the maps are going to be a Christmas themed. I hope it's Vandal. We're going to get Snowball Fights, Christmas Trees, Deer Hunt, Public Event. Uh, a zombie Santa runaway train. That should be interesting. Make sure you guys are subscribed to my second channel where all my Warzone content is. Uh, for gameplay, we're getting horizontal zip lines, which are currently in zombies. That's awesome. Big game bounty where it pings like the person who has the most kills in a room, so you can just kind of get them out of the map. Classic red dots back on the mini map. A flyby, which is going to be part of a public event. Uh, new Gulag public event, locked and loaded. Go again, cash drop. Night vision is in season. Movement updates. ADS while sliding, tax stance is coming, running while reloading, a stim speed boost and slide cancel, and at the bottom right there, it says, and more, game changing. So Warzone looks to be off to a, a fantastic start, it seems like. This is going to be great. Quick overview of the Warzone map, which if you've played Zombies, literally, it's the same exact thing. Next, the Ram 7 is making a return, and it's actually called the Ram 7. Not the Tack Eradicator or some crazy BS name the ram 7 this will be available at launch and then the third and final weapon available at launch is a 
launcher the storm ender a launcher yeah that's gonna be available at launch as well mid-season we're getting a brand new smg the hrm9 and this will be part of the armory unlock which i think is similar to uh, the attack eradicator that's part of weekly challenges maybe let's play like a certain amount of games to unlock it and another lmg the tac evolver and this is going to be in season doesn't tell you how exactly i'm guessing like weekly challenge maybe like a a random challenge so another lmg looks similar to the icarus to me but five brand new weapons in season one which is fantastic not only that we're getting a bunch of brand new aftermarket kits which i mean dude just look at it completely changes the weapons like i love this in the the top image right there that is a tyr like revolver it's a full-fledged shotgun with this aftermarket kit I, again i am so glad they like incorporated these into the game and they're continuing to add even more of them we saw a lot in the preseason through the weekly challenges and whatnot and we're getting even more in season which is absolutely amazing man and then you guys could see a lot more about them love it man it's just super refreshing very very nice to see i mean look at how many there are like this is so much content that i cannot wait to cover in model for three here's a quick look at the uh battle pass i feel like there's missing some sectors i don't know it looks like a small battle pass but then again i ain't complaining some of these skins look insane we got the ram in there you can see a bunch of the other brand new weapons awesome we got black cell returning here's nolan one of the brand new operators uh Dakobi, another operator this looks insane the abolisher that's gonna be part of the black cell here's some bundles that we got going oh my god a lot of cosmetics here i'm just gonna go over them very very quickly because they're just cosmetics weekly challenges are going to be continually to come out here's the jack beholder rifle kit which we saw in a previous image so this is how you're going to be able to unlock some of the aftermarket kits and then we have a brand new camera to work towards coherence which looks really really dope prestige challenges so it's seasonal prestiges again uh we're going to be able to go to level 250 which pretty standard prestige icons pretty much the exact same they look really really clean vibrant i love the yellows and whites we got season one challenges as well which look dope and i'm guessing this is the blueprint we unlock for reaching max level here are the cdl skins are going to be dropping later in the season uh up here they said that dmz is dead they're never updating that garbage piece of trash mode ever again and yeah that's everything you need to know about season three i mean we just went over quite literally everything i want to speed run it give you guys all the important information let me know in the comments what you guys think I, again i think it's going to be incredible um if you guys are subscribed with that little bell icon run you'll be notified the next time i post we'll be covering everything that i covered here in today's update amazing super excited man i'll see you on the next one you guys all stay safe have a great day and i'm out peace